At Tesmo 2023, we had two major randomized phase three trials assessing the first line treatment of patients with EGFR mutations. Rare mutations, EGFR exon 20 insertions with a papillon trial and common EGFR mutations with a mariposa trial. During ESMO 2023, I presented the results from the Papillon study, a randomized uh, phase three trial that compared amivantamab plus chemotherapy to chemotherapy in the first line setting for patients with EGFR exon 20 insertion mutation uh, non small cell lung cancer. So this is a small subgroup of patients uh, EGFR exon 20 is very different from the common EGFR mutation for which the TKI are working. Here we are dealing with a rare subset with no efficacy of these TKIs and the standard of care has remained chemotherapy. Amivantamab is a bispecific EGFR met antibody which has demonstrated anti-tumor activity for these patients with EGFR exon 20 insertion mutated non small cell lung cancer and is actually approved. In, for these patients after progression upon, uh, 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 with this platinum-based chemotherapy. Papillon randomized 308 patients to receive amivantama plus chemotherapy versus chemotherapy with the opportunity of a crossover in the control arm at the time of disease progression to receive second line amivantama. Papillon met its primary endpoint of PFS by BICR. Uh, median progression phase survival was 11.4 months in the amivantama plus chemotherapy arm versus 6.7 months in the chemotherapy arm. This is a hazard ratio of 0.395. We have a, a higher response rate, higher duration of response, higher PFS2, and a strong tendency towards an overall survival benefit. So Papillon is the first study to demonstrate such a benefit for these patients. With regard to safety, uh, we have a safety profile that is in line with the individual uh, compounds, EGFR and MET inhibition related side effects for amivantamab, hematological and gastrointestinal toxicities for uh, chemotherapy. We have a, a slight higher number uh, of neutropenia with amivantamab plus chemotherapy versus chemotherapy alone, but mostly grade one, two, no serious event, and uh, at the end, no discontinuation related to neutropenia. Uh, at the end, uh, we have a manageable profile as the rate of amivantamab discontinuation was only 7% in the experimental arm. So, uh, first study to demonstrate a benefit for this subset of patients, a new standard of care, combination of chemotherapy plus amivantamab in the first line setting for these patients. At ESMO 2033, we had the results from the Mariposa study, a study conducted in uh, common EGFR mutation, so uh, EGFR exon 19 deletion, LA50 ADR mutation. First line setting, comparison of ozimertinib, the standard of care, versus lazertinib, another third generation TKI, versus the combination of lazertinib plus amivantamab, a bispecific EGFR met antibody. Comparison in more than 1,000 patients in the first line setting, so a huge effort. And uh, the Mariposa study uh, achieved its primary endpoint of progression free survival, uh, comparing amivantamab plus lazertinib versus ozimertinib. Median PFS was 23.7 months in the amivantamab plus lazertinib arm versus 16.6 months in the ozimertinib arm as a ratio 0.70. So this is clinically meaningful improvement in the first line setting for these patients. With regard to safety, with amivantamab plus lazertinib, we have a higher risk of uh, toxicities, mostly skin toxicities related to amivantamab, still manageable because the rate of discontinuation was pretty low in that uh, study. So we are uh, moving to a field with more options for these patients in the first line setting. We also know that the combination of chemo plus ozimertinib is doing better than ozimertinib. This was Flora 2 uh, trial presented a few months ago. So multiple options in the first line setting and also multiple options in the second thing and second line uh, therapies. At ESMO 2023, we also had the results from Mariposa 2 amivantamab, lazertinib plus chemotherapy after the failure of ozimertinib.